Hi, my name is Chris Killinger, and I'd like to thank GE Digital for giving me the opportunity to tell you a little bit about the asset performance management journey that ExxonMobil Upstream Oil and Gas has been on over the last couple of decades. First, just a little bit about me. I live in Houston, Texas, and work at ExxonMobil's big campus there on the north side of town. Here's a selfie of me taken out in Arizona a couple years ago at the Grand Canyon. I love to travel, and my career with ExxonMobil has taken me all over the world, six out of seven continents, actually. But one of my favorite trips is up to my hometown of Midland, Michigan, to help my dad cut firewood and just hang out with my family. I'm an engineering advisor for ExxonMobil Upstream Oil and Gas in the Operations Group, and I'm the business owner for several global databases, including the GE Asset Performance Management, which I've been working on since its inception in 2008 for us. I enjoy liaising between engineering, operations, IT, and partners like GE Digital to do what it takes to implement enterprise-scale software solutions and workflows on a global basis. Back in the early 2000s, I was an implementation lead for ExxonMobil Chemicals, SAP R3, and Business Warehouse Global Rollout. And so I have experience with SAP modules, including the interfaces between GE APM software and the SAP PM module. So here's a picture of ExxonMobil's Lisa Destiny floating production storage and offloading vessel that's offshore Guyana, uh, a smaller country on the north side of South America. And the Lisa Destiny facility is the first oil production facility in the country of Guyana. And we started production there in December of 2019. Now, ExxonMobil is one of the world's largest publicly traded energy providers and chemical manufacturers, and we develop and apply next generation technologies to help safely and responsibly meet the world's growing needs for energy and high quality chemical products. We're committed to meeting the growing demand for energy while at the same time reducing the environmental impacts. We use digital technologies such as GE Digital's APM software in our work to help us achieve our commitments. And you can learn more about us at ExxonMobil.com. The GE APM solution is used at ExxonMobil upstream operated affiliates around the world. From the oil sands in western Canada to the Hibernia and Hebron platforms offshore eastern Canada, Lisa Destiny FPSO offshore Guyana, several countries in Western Africa, the Banyu Europe facility in Indonesia, as well as the icy waters offshore Sakhalin Island in the Russian Federation. At ExxonMobil, we strive for efficiency, so we manage one single APM database globally. So whether you're sitting on an offshore platform or at the Bengaluru Technology Center in India, or at our campus in Houston, you're using the same database, which I'm told is one of the largest GE APM databases in the world. Hundreds of concurrent users is no problem for our system. So how did we get to this point? ExxonMobil's history with the Meridium folks, now of course the GE Digital folks, and asset performance management goes back nearly two decades. We were digitally transforming long before digital transformation was a buzz phrase. Back in 2001, our fuels and lubricants business was using early versions of the APM software at several refineries and chem plants in North America. I took my current job in 2008 in the upstream, and we went live at our first affiliate on August 31st, 2009. Over the subsequent few years, we rolled out to the remaining affiliates in the upstream. Which modules to use was at the affiliate's discretion, since we licensed nearly all the modules and all opted to use ASM, Asset Strategy Management, and most opted to use the Mechanical Integrity and Thickness Monitoring modules. Rollout of modules was paced per the needs of the individual affiliates, but functionality was standard because, again, it's a single global database. We upgraded from version 3.4 to version 3.6 in 2015 to benefit from product improvements and stay current on support. In July of 2020, this year, we went live on our most significant upgrade going from version 3.6 to version 4.3, 
while on COVID lockdown and without the benefit of business travel. This was a tough two-year project, but now being on V4 certainly positions us to rapidly upgrade and take advantage of new APM capabilities almost as soon as they're released. The GE APM software is used by our upstream oil and gas operations folks around the world to support our commitment to excellence in operations integrity. We use many of the modules available, including asset criticality analysis, where we identify sheet critical equipment. And we use the several equipment strategy modules, asset strategy management, ASM, uh, risk-based inspection, RBI, reliability-centered maintenance, RCM, FMEA, and safety instrumented systems modules to identify our failure risks and mitigating actions. Our affiliates use inspection management module to capture inspection results and track recommendations through completion sending recommendation data directly to our CMMS to create work notifications which become work orders. And of course we reevaluate action frequencies based on inspection results to make sure we're doing actions frequently enough to maintain safety levels while also not doing actions more often than necessary. Over the last 12 years, I've had the pleasure of working with so many of the folks from GE in a true spirit of collaboration. I think just about every feature in the product was developed with the customer in mind, and I can say ExxonMobil has helped provide some of that input. We were early testers of version 4, and there, were, there are some new features uh, that have just been released that address suggestions made by ExxonMobil and other customers at feedback sessions in Roanoke, Virginia the prior year. GE took our challenging suggestion that we needed photo capture capability on mobile inspections, for instance, and they were able to implement that uh, in the product. And finally, and very importantly, ExxonMobil needed an RBI 580 equipment strategy capability that was flexible enough to incorporate ExxonMobil's proprietary standards without customizing the software such that it was difficult to upgrade. VIP and NAIR's team was up to the task and delivered on that capability, which we've been using successfully since April 2019. And at this point, I'd like to say thank you for your attention, and I'll hand it over to Vipin Nair of GE Digital to discuss some of these capabilities from GE's perspective.